Senator McCain, over the last 10 years or so, it seems that Americans have grown increasingly divided from one another. How would you bring this nation together? <clears throat> Oscar, that's a very good question. <laughs> Here's my answer. I would continue what I've done for 25 years, which is to reach across party lines, something that pee pants over here <laughs> would never even consider. Because you see, Zebediah, <laughs> I don't mind upsetting members of my own party. Under Roll from call? SNL. Oh, dear. Anthony, you've hit the real question. Uh, look, how do we as a people come together? So, <laughs> let me tell you another story I've never shared before. One I left out of my second book. It's about a man I met many years ago in Chicago. And uh, at first I thought we had almost nothing in common. But over the course of working together, year in, year out, talking to each other, and most important, listening to each other, we became friends. <laughs> Wall Street, that's the question here. And after the real candidate slugged it out all day, Fresh Fodder on a special Thursday Night Live. My best friend and my mentor is former Weather Underground leader and unrepentant terrorist, William Ayers. Now I'm telling you this because I'm so far ahead in the polls right now, it's not going to matter. I would continue what I've done for 25 years, which is to reach across party lines, something that pee pants over here <laughs> would never even consider. All jokes is keeps on giving. So clearly, this has been one of the presidential debates ever. Saturday Night Live's having so much fun with the candidates, they're now on Thursday nights, too. And live from New York, it's Saturday night. Hillary Clinton, who came so close to the White House, and me, Sarah Palin, who is even closer. But no one predicted... Can you believe it, Hillary? They'd have this much fun. And you just glided in on a dog sled. Since Amy Poehler and Tina Fey took the stage, SNL's audience has skyrocketed a record-setting 50%, thanks largely... Diplomacy should be the cornerstone of any foreign policy. ...to Tina Fey. And I can see Russia from my house. I think people were already thinking that she would be perfect playing uh, Sarah Palin because she looked so much like her. And then when she did it, and it was so dead on, it just knocked it out of the park and it became sort of the most talked about thing in the country. Even more watched on the web. More than 10 million. Another record. I believe global warming is caused by man. And I believe it's just God hugging us closer. I hope you all caught the debate last night. Cable shows The Colbert Report and The Daily Show are also gaining record audiences. So cool was the junior senator from Illinois that his body language did not give away whether he was campaigning for the presidency or posing for the cover of a 1960s soul album. Viewership for The View is also up. And God forbid anything happens to McCain, she's President well, Palin. Yes. So is Letterman, first targeting McCain. This is not the way a tested hero behaves. So somebody's putting something in his Metamucil. <laughs> and now, Governor Palin. I have no experience. John McCain should get rid of me. Seth Meyers, who's the head writer of Saturday Night Live, said, this is the best thing for a writer, because the, the audience knows the straight lines already. They watched the debate. Hey, can I call you Jill? Of course. Okay, because I practice a couple zingers where I call you Jill. Okay, great. <laughs> 70 million people watch that, so you don't have to set up the jokes. The jokes are already there. At least for 24 more days, when comedians will once again have to write their own jokes. It seems to me that when cornered, you become increasingly adorable. <laughs> Is that fair to say? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> for today, John Larson, NBC News, Los Angeles. Are we not doing the talent portion? <laughs>